What is up lads and welcome to episode number 3 of Road to Inform Edo and as you can sort of see on the screen this episode we will be dealing in position cards and then yeah guys so we'll kick it off go straight into the episode and what you want to do guys is search position cards and search maximum price 300 and the ones you want to be sort of looking out for keeping an eye and bidding on or you want um, right wing to right mid right mid to right wing so the wing ones and like left wing left mid left mid left wing i'll leave them in the description as well and also you want the central midfield to central defensive midfield and central defensive midfield to center midfield i'll put all the information in the description just to make it slightly a bit more clearer guys so what you want to do is search 300 you'll have to go a few pages in depending if you're doing it on a if you're searching on a peak time or a non-peak time and then um, if you're not sure what a peak time and a non-peak time is a peak time is like when everyone's on and then non-peak time is like, you know, middle of the night when not as many people are on. So you want to go a few pages in, guys. And what you want to do is bid 300 coins on all of the sort of the position cards, what I've just said. So you want the left wing to left mid, left mid to left wing, and right wing, right mid, right mid, right wing, centre, defensive midfield to centre mid, and vice versa. So the ones you want to sort of bid, in, and if you've, you know, what you want to do is you're gonna you want to bid 300 coins on these cards, and you're not going to win them all, guys, but if you sort of, sort of look at them and if you're not winning them so you're not winning them by 50 coins what i would recommend is you know the maximum you want to pay is 500 coins you don't really want to go any higher than that but i will leave it all in the description and this is just some examples of me picking up some of the cards as you can see yeah, i've sort of edited the clips out and pick up some of the cards guys and what you want to do is when you win the cards i can see there i won quite a few cards what you want to do is list them for approximately 750 to you could go up to fifteen hundred if you know if you if you if you got the time. But I personally recommend just a thousand. I would rather have a high sort of turnaround of cards rather than having cards sitting for a while and they get a little bit stale. And another sort of important thing, guys, what you have to do, sort of the most important rule of this technique is when you put them up, you want to put them up in thirty second intervals. You don't want to put them all up in bunches because if you put them all up in bunches, they just will not sell. People will sort of see that one guy selling sort of thirty of the sort of similar cards in a row, and people just don't buy with you but if you put them up in 30 seconds sort of the intervals and um, people don't sort of realize that there there is you know it's just you're, you're selling them and you 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 will make profit but if you put them up sort of just one after the other you'll they'll not sell as well so that's sort of the most important thing but guys i'll leave all of this in the description just to make it you know it's a bit, little bit clearer and just make it so it's quite and i'll put it in the simple steps in the description so you know you know the sort of the rules and stuff and as you can see guys i'll talk more about the episode as such we're going along quite nicely at the end of the episode we do actually go over 100k which is a little bit of a spoiler but um yeah this is just bidding on some of the cards and, and then re and re listen them and re and listing them up sorry for a thousand coins and you know the only slightly annoying thing when you do 750 a thousand i would possibly recommend maybe do like 900 a thousand but it is if they just go for 750 it's quite frustrating but that's that's the sort of the the way they, that's the sort of the chance you take i suppose but yeah guys this is you know a really good method you can make you know up to 300 to a thousand coins per card depending on how much you pick them up for and how much you sell them for so it's a really good method guys it's quite a high turnaround on cards as well and then um, it's, it's i really recommend it you know if you've got a good amount of coins on or, or not so many coins you know this method's perfect for you know either either way if you've got little coins or loads of coins you can use this technique and if you've got any sort of questions or queries on the technique leave a comment and i will get back to you or alternatively a quicker way is to send me a message on youtube then i can so i'll get back to you straight away because sometimes when people leave comments it's hard to sort of track back to them if you're watching this video on a later day but there's listen some more um, cards i picked up more than what i could sort of sell in my trip which is slightly stupid of me but that's sort of the, the way i play the game i live dangerously but yeah <laughs> and there's just listen some more cards so we got the cards you want to look out for guys is cent central defensive midfield to center mid center mid to central defensive midfield right wing to right midfield and vice versa and left mid to left wing left wing to left mid so they're the ones you want to look for and there's the end of the episode guys it was you know going along quite nicely in the episode we made a profit of twenty thousand coins which is you know it's a nice amount of profit and this only took me a couple of hours we're not even that to be honest it took me about two hours three hours time to edit it all down so it's a really good technique guys got any queries leave a comment i will get back to you um, yeah, perfect technique for anyone for a lot of coins or not many coins and you can make you know you make if you do this over a, a couple of weeks you'll make a substantial amount of coins so yeah guys if you enjoyed the episode leave a like twitter will be in the twitter will be in the description and uh, anything else and yeah send me a message and i will i'll try my best to get back to everyone so yeah guys peace